When it comes to creating content for your online business, most people are using AI all wrong. A lot of you, and I'm totally guilty of this as well, use large language models basically like a content farm. We just get tools like ChatGPT or Claude to write a bunch of stuff for us. And it doesn't sound like us and it doesn't feel like a human being actually wrote it. There's no unique personality to it, which is exactly why our content doesn't stand out in the vast sea of content that's out there. To make your content stand out, it has to sound like you. It has to contain a unique thought process behind it, a unique point of view from you. So I think I may have a solution which solves this problem. It's Google's Notebook LM. So Notebook LM is an AI powered tool. It was created by Google Labs, which is Google's experimental group. And what it does is it allows you to upload your documents into a notebook. Documents like Google Docs, PDFs, text files, you can copy and paste your notes if you're taking notes and say like Notion or Evernote, or even if you are taking notes with, you know, a pen and a notebook, imagine that. And then once you've uploaded your documents, you can start talking to and chatting with your documents. You can be asking it questions. And I'm gonna show you all about this here coming up. It's like having a virtual research assistant at your fingertips. Now, I'm going to be honest, from what I was hearing about this tool before I started using it, I wasn't all that impressed. I was like, you know, it sounds okay, but why can't I do something like this with, say, ChatGPT or Claude, for that matter? I really didn't think it would be all that helpful for my content workflow in my business, but I was completely wrong. I'm kind of loving Notebook LM, I'm not gonna lie. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why and how you can be using it too to benefit you and your online business. So before I show you all of the cool things you can be doing with Notebook LM, there's a couple of important things that you do need to know about. First thing you need to do in order to access Notebook LM because it's a Google Labs product is go into your Google Workspace admin area, go down to additional Google services, and then make sure your service status is turned to on. And then once that's on, you wanna go to labs.google, https labs.google, scroll down, you'll get to this page right here, scroll down and you'll see Notebook LM and you just click the try it now button. Once you've clicked that try now button and you get into Notebook LM, this is what it looks like. As you can see here, it's super clean. You can come in here, create a new notebook and you give it a name You can say new notebook. This is where you can add your sources. This is where once you've add your, added your sources, you can start uh, talking with your information, if you will. So I'm gonna take you inside of this notebook right here. Now, I'm gonna get super meta with you here because this is the notebook that I used to put together this specific video. I'm gonna show you all of this. So I took a bunch of notes in Google Docs and I uploaded them. So I can just come up here to the plus button and then I can upload, as you can see here, from Google Drive, from PD, uh, PDFs, text files, or copy and paste text. I think one of the biggest benefits when it comes to Notebook LM, so let's look at a, a typical workflow that you might go through when you are creating content, right? So maybe you got your topic, you do some research, maybe you're using perplexity. If you haven't used perplexity, it is hands down the best research tool. It's an AI powered search tool. You can click the link or maybe it's up here. Uh, go watch that previous video I've done about perplexity. And you're getting all of this research, right? Maybe you're creating this big, huge doc of all of your research. So you're, get, you're doing the research, then you're putting all the information into one doc or multiple docs. Then the next step in your workflow would need to be, okay, I'm gonna go through all these notes and start pulling out the important things based on what you think is important, and you are gonna put together a, an outline or a blog post or a podcast episode or a video, a YouTube video script or chapters for a book or whatever it is that you're creating, but that's super time consuming, right? So you've done all this research, then you've got notes everywhere, 
And then you start to, okay, I want to do something with these notes to make something that's actually tangible that I can create content from. So again, that's gonna take you a ton of time. And this is exactly where Notebook LM really, really shines. So what it's gonna do, it's going to automate this content creation process for you, helping you with things like the research or generating ideas or organizing your thoughts or script writing. Notebook LM can really make your content creation workflow so much faster and so much easier. Now I'll share with you in a minute how many documents that you can upload into one project. But as I have uploaded all of the sources here, I can start asking questions to these notes. And I can say, um, what is Notebook LM? And so it's looking through all the content that I have uploaded and formulating that answer. So here's the answer. The other big thing uh, of this too, is it creates citations from where it is pulling this information from your specific um, notes, which is really cool. And then you can see here that it is prompting you with questions. If you don't wanna type something in, for example, you can say, in what ways can Notebook assist content creators in their workflows? Let me click on that. So there you go. It's just answered that question. Again, it's taking the answers here from all of the notes. Again, I can just continue to ask questions. And let's just say I really like this response. I can just pin it to the notes here and you'll see it right here. I can also ask questions of these notes. So for example, I can unselect all the sources here and then I can select all of the notes here. And as you can see, I can create an outline. Uh, it'll suggest related ideas. It'll help me understand things or I can ask any question I want of any information that I have selected. This is where it gets into the real beauty of Notebook LM in that it's helping you come up with new ideas, make new connections that maybe you didn't even realize there was within your research. By the way, I think you can have a thousand notes on your wall here. And in terms of number of sources that you can upload, it's right now at the time recording this, it's limited to 20 sources, but per source, you can have 200,000 words in each of your sources. I don't feel like that's a big limitation at this point. So let's start from scratch here. And let's just say that I've uploaded all of these Google Docs as part of my research for this specific project. And these are actually notes that I was using. And I wanna start asking questions to my research to start to put together some form of useful content. So I can start by, and again, it's giving me predetermined questions and I can, you can start there or you can type in your own question. Let's start with this first one. In what ways does Notebook LM's source grounding feature benefit content creators? All source grounding means is it's pulling information from your specific personal knowledge base which is the information that you have uploaded. By the way, the information that you're putting in here as your sources is not being used to train Google's AI inside of Notebook LM here. It just stays within Notebook LM. It's not being used to train Google's AI. That was one of the questions that I had when I first started using it and diving into it. So let's click on this first note here and we'll see what it says. Okay, so within three seconds, it popped up this answer, Notebook LM source grounding feature benefits content creators, blah, 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 blah. So let's just say that, again, I can click on citations and it has all, I can click to specific citations. And I can also, let's just say I love this point, I can pin it as a note. So I've just created my first note. Let's just see what are the key advantages of and disadvantages of Notebook LM compared to other AI power note taking apps, which I'll talk about here in a minute, but let's click it anyway. And let's see what it says. Okay, so again, within a few seconds, it's just answered me key advantages and key disadvantages. So this was something that was in my notes for example, but I didn't put this together yet. So in a matter of seconds, I've asked a question of my notes 
and it's given me the advantages and disadvantages of Notebook LM as it compares to other note-taking tools. So cool, let's pin it and create another note. Let's just say I wanna type in and I wanna learn one key capability of Notebook LM. What is one key capability of Notebook LM for online businesses? So again, now this is where I'm chatting basically with my information. So again, it pulls out information that I've been talking about. It allows you to synthesize a whole bunch of information. Cool, let's pin that. So. Now that I have some notes here, and you can keep going here and add a whole bunch of notes if you want to. Let's just say that I wanna select all of these notes. You can do different things with it now. You can summarize, you can, it can, you can ask it to suggest related ideas to the notes I have created. You can have it create a study guide if you want to, if you're, you know, if you're using Notebook LM to learn concepts and so forth. From a content creation standpoint, you can create an outline, you can combine into one note, et cetera. Let's click on the suggest related ideas. So what it's just done here is it's taken the notes that I have created here and looked for related ideas to what I have pinned on the wall of notes here. So grounding in user source materials, i.e. the documents that you have uploaded, enhance workflow and productivity, improve content quality and accuracy. So it's looking at all of the research and documentation that you've uploaded and it's pulling out specific ideas from that content. Again, making this way easier to put together a piece of content for whatever you're creating content for. So two more ideas for you for Notebook LM is one of them, if you're doing Zoom calls in your business, maybe you're doing sales calls or coaching calls or team calls or what have you, and you're transcribing those calls, a lot of times people are just sort of having to go through the transcripts and pull out the important information, which is a huge time suck. Well, you could just upload the transcript here into a new project in Notebook LM, and then you can use the AI to pull out that information and let Notebook LM do all that hard work for you. Now, here's a pro tip. When you are, if you are going to upload a transcript into Notebook LM, it's super important that you format it correctly. So essentially you wanna make sure that each paragraph within the transcript includes the person's name who is speaking. Otherwise, if you don't do that, Notebook, the AI is gonna have a real hard time processing the transcript. So make sure that it has the name of the person who is speaking. Another idea for you for using Notebook LM is you could use it as a help center for your team or maybe an onboarding guide for when you bring new people onto your team. You can basically create a knowledge base of all the necessary information that new team members need to know so that when they have questions, they can just come right in here and to start typing in questions that the AI will read your notes and it will answer their question for them. In a YouTube interview that I'll share the link to in the notes below, Steven Johnson, who is the person who is designing Notebook LM for Google said that recognizing and capturing fleeting hunches or surprising ideas, even without immediate understanding can lead to valuable insights and connections in the creative process. He mentions this in that interview, is he's got a running Google Doc where he puts all of his thoughts into. So he can upload that Google Doc into Notebook LM and begin asking questions to make connections for him across all of his notes and random ideas or suggest new ideas based on the things that he is capturing in his day-to-day -day life. And finally, as with any AI tool, this has its own limitations and drawbacks. So when I'm recording this video, which is March of 2024, you are limited to only being able to upload Google Docs. You can copy and paste your notes. You can upload PDFs and you can upload text files. So if you do a lot of work, for example, in spreadsheets or Google Sheets or what have you, right now that's not supported. The other thing I would love for this to be able to do is the ability to add a source, which is a URL. So for example, if I wanted to upload parts of my website and I have a specific URL for one of the pages on my site, I would love to be able to upload that. Currently, that is not a functionality that 
exists. Another limitation, and I do hear that this functionality is coming, but currently I wouldn't trust Notebook LM to write my finished product. What I mean by that is if I wanted to write a complete video script or a complete podcast script or a complete book chapter or a blog post or whatever it is, this is not your solution. But I do hear that they're going to be adding that capability to Notebook LM so that not only can you add your research and it will synthesize it for you and create all these notes for you, and then you can put them all together for an outline. Then the other big step to this, obviously, is creating your finished content piece. And that, I understand, is coming. And then, of course, garbage in, garbage out. So if you are uploading irrelevant or not very high quality research or notes or what have you into Notebook LM, you're not going to get, the AI is not going to pull out high quality things for you. Whatever information the AI pulls out for you is going to be based on how good the input is. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any other use cases for Notebook LM that I didn't cover in the video here, I'd love to hear about them. Put them in the comments below this video. Also, if you like the video, hit that like button. And I also want to invite you to subscribe to the channel here. Thank you in advance for doing that. And I'll see you in the next video.